Size can be a factor in hockey, but it's not the only determining factor for success. While being tall and heavy can provide certain advantages, such as greater reach and physical strength, smaller players can excel in other areas such as speed, agility, and skill. In fact, many of the most skilled and successful players in NHL history have been relatively small in stature. For example, players like Wayne Gretzky, Paul Correa, and Patrick Kane were not particularly large, but they were incredibly skilled and able to use their speed, agility, and creativity to excel on the ice. Overall, while size can certainly be an advantage in some areas of the game, it's not the be-all and end-all when it comes to success in hockey. Ultimately, it's a combination of many different factors, including skill, speed, quickness, and teamwork that make a player successful in this dynamically fast and challenging sport. Hockey player Charlie Hodge began competing in 1950 after joining the Montreal Junior Canadiens. Four years later, Charlie made his NHL debut for Montreal. When Plant was relocated in 1963, Hodge was given more opportunity to play. As the team's regular season goalie who conceded the fewest goals, he twice won the Vezina Trophy. Hodge only participated in one of the NHL Championship Final, but six times his name can be found on the Stanley Cup, which symbolizes the league winner. In the NHL, he also played for Vancouver Canucks and Oakland Seals. During the 2011 NHL Entry Draft, the Florida Panthers selected Grimaldi in the second round. His size raised questions prior to the draft. He is shorter than most NHL players at 5 feet 6 inches. Grimaldi doesn't mind being asked about his size and says, I think it's hilarious, in response. In a win over the Philadelphia Flyers, he made his NHL debut with the Panthers. Having played for the Panthers for a portion of two seasons, Grimaldi was moved to the Colorado Avalanche. Rocco had short spell with the team and he relocated to Nashville in summer 2018. Grimaldi scored three goals in the first period in a home game against the Red Wings. His first hat trick of his professional career was the quickest by a Predators player in team history, 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Together with Eric Nystrom, he became the second player in Predators history to score four goals in a single game when he added a fourth goal in the third period. For 13 seasons, Jumpin' Jackie competed for the Toronto St. Patrick's, Hamilton Tigers, New York Americans, and Philadelphia Quakers in the strongest hockey League. In 1925, Jake took part in the historic Hamilton Tigers player strike. Forbes, a player with the Toronto St. Patrick's, skipped the whole 1921-22 NHL season while on strike for a $2,500 wage prior to being active in the players' movement. By doing this, Forbes made history by becoming the first NHL player to sit out the full year over a contract issue. All in all, he had a record of 84 wins, 114 defeats, 11 ties, and 2.6 six goals against average. Mighty Mouse was renowned for his aggressive playing style and goal-scoring prowess. Tony mostly played for the National Hockey League's New York Rangers and Detroit Red Wings. Leswick is most remembered for his overtime goal in Game 7 of the 1954 Stanley Cup Finals, which ended the series. Throughout his playing career, Mighty Mouse, an all-star game participant six times, has won three Stanley Cups. Rudy Mide started playing hockey professionally in 1948 with an AA NHL team in Pittsburgh. He left the team after three seasons and signed with the Maple Leafs of the NHL, where he played for seven seasons. Mide then played for a few seasons in Rochester before spent the next two years in Denver. Yet because repeated accidents had caused damage on his knees, he made the decision to switch to training. He started his coaching career with the CHL's Tulsa Oilers before moving on to coach other groups. Theo Fleury was selected by the Flames in the eighth round, 166th overall, at the 19th 1987 NHL Entry Draft. From 1989 through 2003, he participated in over 1,000 NHL games. Fleury, one of the tiniest players of his time, played with a physicality that frequently resulted in fights. Fleury, who was formerly thought to be too little to play in the NHL, ended up finishing 61st in NHL career scoring with over 1,000 points, and he won the Stanley Cup in 1989 with the Flames. Fleury scored 90 or more points four times and 100 or more points twice in his career. He 
struggled with drug and alcohol problems throughout his career, which finally caused him to leave the NHL in 2003. In 1974, Robert Moore earned a place in the NCAA West First Team All-American squad, followed by a spot in the 1976 WCHA Second Team All-Star Team. Later on, Moore became a member of the NHL Philadelphia Flyers as a free agent. During the 1978-79 season, Robbie and the Mariners emerged as the AHL champions, winning the Calder Cup. Robbie also earned his first Harry Half Holmes Memorial Award during this season, which was the first of three he would receive overall. In his debut NHL game that same season against the Colorado Rockies, Moore achieved a remarkable 5-0 shutout. In addition to his time with the Mariners and Flyers, he also played a single game with the Washington Capitals during his professional career. In their first OHL game, the Belleville Bulls won thanks to their first goalkeeper, Darren Pang, who they selected in the draft. He played a significant part in the Ottawa 67s Memorial Cup victory in 1984 after being traded to them, winning both the best goalkeeper and all-star team accolades. Pang, the second shortest goalkeeper to ever play in the NHL, was chosen to the league's all-rookie team in 1988 and made it all the way to the Calder Trophy Finals as the league's Rookie of the Year. Later, in the summer of 1984, he signed with the Blackhawks as a free agent, and in the 1987-88 NHL season, he established a record for goalies by contributing six assists. Despite having a limited NHL career, he assisted nine times overall. Nathan Gerby, a former player of both the Buffalo Sabres and Carolina Hurricanes, last time played for the Columbus Blue Jackets of the NHL. He was chosen by the Sabres Sabres as the 142nd overall pick in the 2005 NHL Entry Draft. Kirby is widely known for his exceptional skating ability and remarkable talent for scoring goals. In 2008 to 2009, during his time in the AHL, he was honored with the Dudley Red Garrett Memorial Award, which recognizes the league's top rookie. In addition, he broke a franchise record by scoring two goals in less than five seconds against the New York Islanders in 2011. Despite being the second smallest player in the league, he is considered the smallest skater in the history of the NHL. Roy Werders demonstrated demonstrated his unwavering commitment to the Pirates over his three seasons with the team by playing in nearly every game. He showed off his remarkable qualities as their backstop, although playing for a weak defensive lineup. During the Pirates' inaugural season, Werther set an NHL record by stopping 70 out of 73 shots against the Americans. After being moved to the Americans, he spent the remainder of his career with them, with the exception of one game in 1930 while he was on loan to the Canadians. In his first season with the Americans, Werther's made history by being the first goalie to win the Hart Memorial Trophy. After that, in 1930-31, he earned the Vizina Trophy, and in 1969, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. He is renowned for being the shortest player to ever compete in the NHL despite only being 5 feet 3 inches. The primary factors in today's games are speed and ability. In order to promote more offensive play and discourage aggressive play, the NHL changed the rules and playing methods, which led to quicker more exciting games. Thanks to advances in technology and training techniques, players are now stronger, faster, and able to maximize their talent on the ice like never before. The sport of hockey has changed substantially over the past 20 years, and it has continued to adapt to fresh trends and ideas. Does size matter on the ice in today's game of hockey? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you and see you soon!